Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. I, my name is Paige, and this is Mello, my Great Pyrenees. Hope you all are having a great, wonderful day. As you can see, Mello is sleepy. He normally is in a lot of my videos. Um, I just like showing how calm he is, stuff like that. But in today's video, I'm going to be talking about whether Great Pyrenees can live in hot um, places. So, straight up answer, yes, Great Pyrenees can live in hot places. It's fairly common for people to have Great Pyrenees in hot places, you know. There's no restriction um, to breeds, like what breeds you can have in certain places as far as weather-wise. So, you can definitely have a Great Pyrenees in hot places. They'll still be just as happy as they would be in, like, a colder place. Mello, we live in North Carolina, and it does get hotter at times, but it also gets cool cooler. You know, we have different times. Mello's perfectly happy. Um, there are a few things that you might want to consider, though, though, before you get a Great Pyrenees in hot places. So, number one, Great Pyrenees have a super thick coat, so they can get overheated pretty quickly. But you can, like, get around that. So, are you going to have your Great Pyrenees inside or outside? Mello is an inside dog. He's completely inside. We take him outside to go to the bathroom. We go on hikes. He's not an outside dog. Um, but if you are going to have your dog outside, you have to make sure that you can accommodate with the, like, weather. So, like, if it gets super hot, are they going to have a place that's air conditioned for them? Just so that they don't overheat. Great Pyrenees have to have a lot of water. You want to make sure they have constantly clean water. Mello will not drink out of his water bowl if it's dirty. Um, and by dirty, I mean if, like, there's even, like, a tiny little bit of, like, drool from him, like, drinking once, he won't drink it. So we have to clean his bowl out every single time he drinks. And you literally have to sit there and, like, scrape the sides because he knows when, like, the water is, like, dirty. Whereas Jovial, she'll just drink the water whenever, like, it doesn't matter. But he's very picky with his water. So you do want to make sure that they do have an adequate amount of water. That is super important, especially if you do live in hot places. Now, never shave your Great Pyrenees, okay? It might sound like a good idea if you do live in hot places to shave your Great Pyrenees. It is super bad for any dog to be shaved because it can mess up their fur, like their coat. It's bad for their skin. Um, you know, their coat, specifically Great Pyrenees, they have the double coat, which helps, like, regulate their temperature and if you shave off their coat it's really hard for them to actually regulate their temperature so them you thinking that it might be like helpful to shave their coat is actually super bad for them because it actually like they can't actually regulate their temperature anymore and they could have they could overheat a lot more than they could with their fur and it kind of sounds a little strange but that's just how it is you know their coat is super important for them so if you do live in a hot place don't shave your great pyrenees or don't ever think about shaving your great pyrenees super bad for them just don't do it um you know and like i said they do need air conditioning and water but overall they can live in hot places and they can be happy um, some things that I would recommend if they are living in hot places, again, make sure they have enough water, air conditioning, our house is air conditioned in the, um, summer, and then they're heated in the winter, but if your dog is outside, make sure they have their own air conditioned place with a, like, shelter to where they can go in, like I said, Mel's completely inside, but most of, most, if not some, but some people do keep their Great Pyrenees outside for like guarding livestock and stuff. So I would recommend getting an air conditioning for them and their own little shelter area. Um, but now I'm going to show you some, teach you, like share with you guys some tips that make it really good for um, having a Great Pyrenees in hotter weather. So again, just make sure they have fresh clean water. But one Places we like to take Mello is we really like taking him to the river. He has so much fun at a river, you know. It just helps them stay cool in the summer, spring area, um, like springtime. And they love playing in the river. Now, Mello's not one for swimming. However, he does like to put his feet in the river and um, get cool that way. That's just one of his favorite things. Um, he's never swim, though. He doesn't like going super far deep. But it is just a way to keep them cool. So, that's just... Um, Basically, my opinion on can you have Great Pyrenees in hot places? Again, yes, you absolutely can. And you will constant like, you will hear people say you shouldn't have your Great Pyrenees in hot places. You know, it's not good for them. They're meant to be, like, in snow and stuff. But the reality is they can live anywhere, 
like wherever you live, they can live anywhere. They can live in New York, California, Florida, anywhere that you can think of. Um, but if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that you can follow me and Mello on our journey. And we will catch you guys next time. Bye!